This is Tally reporting to you from the 2009 West Coast Green Conference at the Fort Mason Center in San Francisco. And I'm here with James Pope, the CEO of Green Horizons, which is a pretty awesome um, prefab, uh, sustainable prefab uh, disaster relief home. So, um, James, can you tell us a little bit about um, the construction of this structure? Sure. This, um, this is a completely new and revolutionary design of how we build uh, a product. Uh, this home is built with components. It's component driven and the components are used in a manner which we can put them in and take them out very quickly. The, um, uh, the overall construction of the home is built so that it's fully sustainable. So we have many components that can be removed and quickly deployed and fixed at, at a moment's notice. So we also have um, the transportation of our units are very, very uh, quick. So we have f four different ways of deploying this unit. The four ways is we can put it on a rail car. We can, it, the unit has its own wheels and trailer hitch. Also, it, it can be put in a shipping container and shipped overseas or stored for an indefinite period when a disaster happens. The unit um, also can be, uh, is a DLT certified uh, trailer that has its own trailer hitch, I mean its own license plate, so it can be pulled with a, a one ton or half three quarter ton truck to any, any, area, uh, in, uh, any area in the United States. The, uh, the main concept of this, this home is to be able to be quickly deployed and self-sustainable. Self-sustainable meaning that when you pull it up to any area, we can put it anywhere uh, that doesn't have water, fuel, or power. We have all that in our unit itself. So the unit um, can be driven to a, a site, set up within hours, and the people who are in a disaster or in an emergency situation can live in it within hours. We can actually set the unit up and faster than people can um, then they can actually get signed up to move into the unit. So our, our idea and our goal is to be able to set up these hub systems uh, hours away from the, um, uh, from the uh, uh, disaster, bring in a thousand units or so, make the people, uh, have the people come to the uh, uh, disaster situation, and if one of their homes are destroyed, we bring the unit to them, set it up in their home, and where their home was, have their home rebuilt, then we come and get the unit, take it back, and have it completely reconditioned. So everything is completely recyclable in our, in our units. So we're trying to meet all the designs and all the ideas uh, to make this a, a very, very complete system uh, for disaster organizations and other uh, organizations as well. So James, um, there were some cool features that I just wanted to briefly touch upon. So you mentioned that there's actually water underneath the floors here? Yes, that's correct. We have uh, a 48 gallon tank uh, below each one of these floors. Mm -hmm. So And these floors are separate, so if they go bad, they can be removed. Mm -hmm. Also, this these tanks are all interconnected with a recycling, a recirculating system that allows the water to keep recirculating so there is no stagnation in it. Plus there's a filtration system to, to keep the water from going stagnant as well. Okay, great. And you said this is also, a this is collapsible, this yeah, wall, this this wall our, here? This, these floors uh, will fold up and as they fold up, this, this whole unit collapses to eight feet. Right now it's 13 feet wide, it collapses to exactly eight feet and it's completely self-contained. Everything in this unit has double backups and in some areas triple backups. So there's double seals, there's uh, triple seals, so that it's completely weathertight. And also, um, if uh, when you're, you're, this whole unit moves out with a, a little bitty small 12 volt motor. Mm -hmm. And if that motor goes bad or burns up for any reason, there's a crank to, uh, cranking system to crank it out as well. Mm -hmm. So also, if that breaks, there, there's four pins that you pull and then it just slides out by pulling it. So we're trying to think of every possible, uh, since we're a disaster organization, we get, we're trying to make sure that in case a disaster happens, we can, make it, we can make it work no matter what happens. And the VOC content in here? Well, that's, that's what, well this is, um, our, our factory is um, nine, no, ISO 9000 certified, and we're going to a new level of um, testing. We have um, uh, an industrial hygienist that works for us full time who tests every piece of material that comes into our factory and we also do a formaldehyde test on the unit and when we're finished with every unit we do a seven day formaldehyde test for the entire unit. So it takes, um, uh, the scientist regulates the, the uh, formaldehyde within the unit and the outside of the unit 
And uh, we've been able to build a unit that's below the 16 parts per billion that uh, everybody has been trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. So we have done that. And the, um, the insulation in here? Uh, the insulation is a uh, from out high free foam, uh, uh, and it's uh, it, we have pa partnered up with Durafoam panels, mm -hmm. and it's a revolutionary product within itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we have th uh, Kathy has three patents on that product, and it is a vacuumized um, zip panel mm -hmm. that adds a, a lot of structure and weight, and, and takes away a lot of weight from our unit. So this would be appropriate for multiple different types of climates. Yes, uh, this, is, this, this particular unit is R22, and we'll meet all three zone levels. But we can change the panels in, in a snap and make uh, a larger um, uh, R value and a lar larger envelope R value if we need to. Also, all these homes are, can be contained or can be connected together to be able to all share power. So if one unit only has 20% uh, or 30% usage, the other one has 100%, they balance that power out. So they're all connected to be able to create a, uh, a grid system. And also they can be connected to the grid as well, quickly. And we also have um, three types of power generation. We have uh, a hybrid system that is on the unit, which is run by eight gel batteries. And we have solar, nine solar panels on the roof. And we also have a, a hybrid, a hybrid, a bio-diesel uh, generator that will reclaim the power as well. So in a situation like Hurricane Katrina that was kind of a, a longer than a week right. really, what, what would be the solution? Well see this unit is not only a temporary solution, it's also a permanent solution and we've, we've changed the design to make it so where it, uh, it's, it's livable but it's also a, a way to get people to move out of the unit as well so that when the houses are built they can move this unit to where their lot is in front of their home, where their homes were, stay there and then when the house is rebuilt, pull, move in. So that's one of the, the main goals that we have with this product as well. Okay, great. And um, can we talk a little bit about the, you know, the financial structure here? How, how expensive is this unit? Well, it's, it's fairly inexpensive compared to other products. Um, for our retail sales, we, we we're sell for 119000 For uh, the government and other agencies that are buying in large quantities, we sell them for 89000 so how does this compare to uh, other alternatives? Well, um, other, other homes that do, don't, do not have the capabilities we have are selling around the $100,000 mark. So we're still below that, uh, that price point. James, thank you so much. I'd like to thank you for talking to us today. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. This is Tally reporting to you from the 2009 West Coast Green Conference in San Francisco from Builder.com. Thank you for watching.